<clears throat> this is a drive shaft out of a 1965 Buick LeSabre. 1965 Buick LeSabre 400 four door. Car had 19,000 miles. It's been sitting since the 70s outside. I just removed it just a little while ago. And anyway, these are pretty expensive to have made. Um, the truss member is still under the car. You know, it's kind of rusty looking like this. But anyway, uh, there's that expensive coupler. You know, and apparently you rebuild those. But anyway, uh, my email is privateseller007 at gmail.com. Privateseller007 at gmail.com. Or you can text me or call me, but I'm in the mountains and texting may work better with bad reception. 706-781-8221. 706-781-8221. I have PayPal and Cash App. I prefer, prefer PayPal. Anyway, I'll sell this. I've got other parts from the car, and I generally post a lot of my parts on a website called ebed.net. It's just like eBay. It's as, as old as eBay. Looks like eBay and works like eBay. Anyway, it's from, it was started in the mid to late 90s. It was competition for eBay. It was used to be based out of the UK, and... It's still up and running, and because of eBay's fees and all the problems, they got rid of PayPal. I have an eBay, but uh, I prefer the eBid. It's cheaper, and I can list things cheaper on there. So if you want to use a site and ship this, you'll have to contact me and tell me how you want to do the shipping. If you don't trust me for some reason, if the PayPal transaction is not something you trust... For a little extra, I can list it on ebed.net. If you need some kind of site like that. But, you know, I'll have to add cost of the fees. And, uh, anyway, I have a lot of the other parts listed on ebed.net. www.ebed.net from the 65 car. And the story on the car is it had a 300 cubic inch. 355 Wildcat V8 engine and my dad he passed away a few years ago but we had a stash of cars in the woods up on the mountain behind our shop 25 acres of them and I'm having to clean out a lot of stuff because the highway's coming through my property so I'm picking the old cars that are going to rust away that I'm not interested in. So this car is just kind of too far gone with some seam issues on the body. And uh, anyway, the car was in a slight wreck. Actually, there was two or three sitting next to each other. It was all in the same wreck. But I've got an old 68 Plymouth Fury. Anyway, in Atlanta, Georgia, the cars were in an, they were in an ice storm and they spun around and hit each other on a bridge or something, going kind of slow. And the cars just spun around and all banged each other in a, in a traffic pile up. Not frame damage level wreck, but just, you know, all four corners, basically. And so the cars were totaled out back then and uh, my uncle would buy insurance wrecks, or maybe they were his cars. I, I just don't know because my dad passed away. But so then my dad and I got the cars from him years ago, took them to our place. So, and uh, I just sold the switch pitch transmission, the turbo 400 transmission, and the guy wanted the yoke, so I had to remove this U joint. So, apparently, they make the rubber piece. For that this is rebuildable i would put new new joints you know it's very old so write me send me a message 
I'm in Northeast Georgia. I'm on the border of Tennessee, North Carolina. I'm in Georgia on the Tennessee, North Carolina border, the Tri-County line. My county touches all three states. And I'm not very far from South Carolina. I'm in the top right-hand corner of Georgia, two hours or less from Atlanta, Chattanooga, Asheville. Knoxville is two hours and 15 minutes due to the curves. Greenville, South Carolina is two hours or less. Clemson is 70 miles, I guess, something. Clemson University. Anyway, I'm in the mountains. Uh, my zip code is 30512. And if you want something like this shift, shipped, I could probably take it apart. Or you could have a U-ship guy come by and pick it up. Somebody passing by my county in one of those diesel pickups or those little vans where they just ship random items for people for a fee. I've done that a lot and it actually works out pretty good. Sometimes somebody, if you heard the cars going by outside, my shop's on the main highway. <clears throat> Usually uh, these guys will just pull in and I leave this out in front of my shop. They'll throw it in their vehicle, you know, for gas money. They'll throw it in the back and drop it off somewhere close to you or at your place if you want you ship.com you can get on there and make a request for for bids it's kind of like a bidding process or you can just say how much you're willing to pay so make it snatch this or you can take it apart wrap it and take it and weigh it and ups it or something i know there's a weight limit of like 70 pounds which, you know, this is just too long and floppy. Uh, I don't know if it weighs 70 pounds. It might weigh 60. Anyway, so if you're wanting to buy one of these special drive shafts, this probably fits in pallets and stuff like that. Write me, text me, email me, call me. Anyway, I'll sell this thing, all right?